So you're here because you're about to start the same journey that I started almost exactly one year ago. Mm -hmm. But the journey really starts when we're little, I think, because we didn't start trying to lose weight a year ago. We started, (laughs) we all started at some point when either when people called us fat or when our mom said, you shouldn't eat that. Mm -hmm. I've been writing down all my memories of things like this and I... I used to shoplift candy at Target and take it in the bathroom and binge it in the bathroom stall. Oh, no shit. And I think that I was probably seven. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And I've never admitted that because there's just too much shame. So, Well, yeah. This isn't about me. It's actually about you. But I, I'm a year ahead of you on what you're about to start, which is to use semaglutide to lose weight. And so I can tell you that I have lost 65 pounds. My whole life is different. Wow. And not just the outside of me, but the way that I think about myself and my time and what I put my energy into is all different. So I'm excited to hear how how you go through it. Why don't you start by telling us just a little bit about who you are in your life? So my name is Cammie. I uh, recently turned 44. On the inside, I feel like I'm 13 quite frankly, and I act that way most most of the time. I've been blessed with an amazing soulmate, my husband, Justin, and we decided to do that thing where we procreate, and we have a beautiful daughter named Cordelia. So we're we're just a little happy little family of three. And you were also like me. I mean, no one knows this about me either, but I had my first child at 41 and the second one at 44, and you were 39 or 38, right? So I had her when I was 37 and I turned 38 a month later. So she's six now. Do you remember how much you weighed when you, right before you delivered her? So I had a really weird pregnancy where I lost weight. So I weighed less when I gave birth than when I first got pregnant. Wow. Why did that happen? Because I developed uh, gestational diabetes and I couldn't eat anything anything. If I walked in the bread aisle, my blood sugar would spike. And I also had some weird aversions when I was pregnant where I could not eat meat. Couldn't do it. I like could maybe do a slice or two of bacon every once in a while, but chicken breast, steak, fish, couldn't do any of it. And so I was, all I was left was, was, was vegetables. Mm. So it was basically all I ate for like four months. And so when I delivered her, I weighed less. Wow. I can't remember by how much, but. Yeah. But then as I ended up developing postpartum thyroiditis, which is basically where your thyroid, which basically controls your will to live, stopped working. (laughs) And so my body was like, hey, yo, I gave you like a really healthy baby. I'm done now. Okay. So sorry. So then I ballooned from that because I was, you know, an older mom, which means you don't bounce back. I basically was walking around feeling like I weighed like 700 pounds. Like I felt just like I walking around with a car strapped to my back. Like it was, it was just terrible. And so once that all got sorted out, some of the weight started coming off. And then on top of all that, I got diagnosed with ADHD. And that, you know, that diagnosis was like a godsend because I'm like, why am I a total lunatic? Like, I can't string two sentences together. I can't, you know, my brain fog was out of control. And, you know, my husband would try to talk to me about something. And it was like, I was, I was watching his lip move and like no sound was coming out. It was the weirdest thing. And there's like an auditory sensory thing with ADHD that happens sometimes where you like are trying to listen to somebody, but it just literally goes in one ear and out the other. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was, God, a couple of years ago. So... Everything's been going fine until I was laid off in October, so about three months ago, and decided, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to just eat every feeling I've ever had. (laughs) And I did. Mm -hmm. And then I got on the scale, and I'm like, oh, Cammie, what have you done? Oh, oh, no. I was like, my pants were tight. I was like, why are my pants so tight? Well, it's because you ate a handful of gummy bears before you go to bed. Like, no. 
I'm so happy that I'm talking to you about this and you can totally relate, but I was like, I don't want to be like, because by the time she's maybe going to be graduating from college, I'm going to be like early 60s, mid 60s. Mm-hmm. That's how old my mom is now. And I'm 44. I was like, so all of that, I think about that a lot. I'm like, okay, what's my life going to look like when I'm 60, 65, 70, and my daughter's in her 20s, right? Yep. So for me, the real motivation, the real reason that I'm doing this is for my long-term health, and it has zero to do with vanity. I don't give two single fucks what I look like. I'll get in a bikini. I don't care. I don't care. What I care about is not sucking wind when I my daughter wants to go do something fun. And I'm like, I'm so tired. I can't do it. Fuck that. I'm not. No. Yeah. So that's why I'm doing this. There's such a great motivation for everything health related, not just this, but mm-hmm. like, this seems to be the center of all the other issues. At least it was for me. Yep. And I'm curious what your weight is now that you're about to start. I can tell you if you want. Yeah. Tell me. So right now I am five foot seven and I weigh 250. Mm-hmm. So you're at 250. What's your goal weight, do you think, if you can even think that far ahead? Well, no, I, I, I hate to say I'm not sure. So my endocrinologist is like, you need to be at 140. I'm like, are you kidding? I didn't even weigh that when I was a fetus, sir. <laughs> like, I think I weighed 140 in fifth grade, Cammy. For real. Like... <laughs> This isn't for me to struggle with my demons of losing weight. It really is. I just want to live longer and I want to be happier. It's the the absolute bottom line. It's really well said, Cammie. 